January 2017, Anne Chege's husband was killed by Al-Shabaab militants in Kulbio, Somalia. He was among the Kenyan troops charged with the responsibility of getting rid of the Al-Qaeda-linked terror group, as well as stabilizing the Horn of Africa. She says it has not been an easy ride coping without the love of her life. You know my kids, they're still young. Our levy, they keep asking, Dad, where is Daddy? When is Daddy coming? Daddy. Her husband, Josiah Chege Kamau, was felt by Al Shabaab militants weeks to the day she was to give birth to her third child. My life can never be the same again without my husband. You know, he was the father to my kids, my husband, changing from a married woman to a widowhood life. It's not easy. She's not alone. Jennifer Muli lost her husband, Major Frederick Muli, six months into her pregnancy. Wanangu alikufa kwenye ile ajali ya Kaloleni, 1992. Her husband was a pilot in the Kenya Air Force wing of the Kenya Defense Forces. Tukwa tunaishi kwenye kambi na nyumba ya jeshi. Sasa nimi mnewacho na watoto watatu na niko na mimba ya miezi saba, nika siku ujua vile nitafanya bila makao. She was here at the Moi Air Base, Nairobi, to witness the launch of the Kenya Air Force Welfare Center that seeks to cater for the widows, widowers, and orphans of fallen heroes like her husband. Our concern is to reduce that burden and to honor our widows and their orphans. Nanafikiri ni mali pazuri sana because watu wengi hawatakuwa na shida zile ambazo sisi tulipata itakuwa rahisi kwao na ni mzuri na wapatie ile peace ya kuweza ku stabilize na ku settle na family zao. The number of soldiers killed in Somalia since KDF incursion into the Horn of Africa is not public knowledge yet. But what is known is that the attack on the Kenyan soldiers by Al-Shabaab has left a gap among those who depended on them. I wish that we had been able to do it earlier, but every journey has its season, every journey has its first step. From where you went on, be the rest assured that our future is secure. Families of soldiers killed in the line of duty are hoping that the initiative will be implemented quickly and effectively. Enoxicolia, Citizen Weekend.